With Tekken 8 out, we know all the characters who returned and their story. However, there's a list of characters who didn't make the cut. Though this short series will look at these characters and based on their previous lore, how can they return to Tekken 8 in the future? In today's episode, we look at... So, a bit about Miguel. When he was younger, he was a problem child, starting fights with people and arguing with his parents, which resulted in the parents kicking him out. As he got a little bit older, the only person that would really see him was his sister, uh, and the only person he could trust at the time. Even when she visited him, the parents didn't know. And then she said that she was getting married and Miguel's initial thought was to kill her fiance because he was not happy. However, not wanting to break her heart, Miguel decides to not kill him and let her get married. So in Tekken 6 is where he's introduced. We see him on the wedding day outside the church, doesn't want to be seen by his parents, celebrating the wedding of his sister. However, as they leave the church, the bombs hit, kill his sister which you can see. So in Tekken 6, his story is just to get revenge for the death of his sister. He knows it was Jin, he wants to kill Jin. Now moving on to Tekken 7, he's searching for Jin and he feels lost in life without getting revenge. So while he's searching for Jin, he's going from town to town, just fighting people. And then in his character episode, he comes across a Jin, which is not canon. Let's be honest, it's not canon. But that's how his character story is. But I'm not going to go into the character episode, I'm going to go on to how we can come back in Tekken 8. So, Miguel's character episode, there can be some canon to it. So, after the Tekken 7 tournament gets cancelled, he goes from town to town just to fight people to try and find Jin. But, he ends up returning home to protect his family. Even though his family didn't like him, he knows that his sister cared for the parents. So he makes it his duty to look after him. Even though the parents don't like him, he does it for his sister, as he feels that would be one of her wishes. While he's protecting them, there's been an invasion now and then, and he's fighting on the front lines to keep him safe, which gains the trust and the respect from the parents. So their relationships sort of repaired. So Miguel hears that Kazuya announces a tournament and believes that it could be a way to bait Jin out, maybe Jin's back in the in the picture. But Miguel's ready to enter the tournament to prove himself. However, he hesitates when he hears that if you lose, your country will be wiped from Earth. And this is where Miguel hesitates and doesn't want to enter because he doesn't want to be responsible for the death of his family. And he sort of is reminded from his sister like he didn't have a choice to save her life but he has a choice to save his parents life and keep them safe so that's why he doesn't enter the tournament now we get into spoiler territory if you have not played the Tekken 8 story Miguel will come back after the Tekken 8 story is finished so Jin's back in the picture world's returning back to normal with Kazuya being defeated by Miguel seeing Jin back that fire is lit again that desire for revenge comes back and this is where it gets interesting because he can split off into two different paths so the first character arc could be Miguel is thankful for Jin that he defeated Kazuya but he wants to remind Jin that you have a debt to pay you will pay for your sin i.e. killing my sister I will be hunting for you and I will give you a beating maybe kill him it's up to Miguel because he feels like if he kills Jin, then he the world's gonna be after him. And then the second arc, which I would prefer they go with, is that Jin's back, he finally sets out to kill Jin. Doesn't want to beat him up, he wants to kill him. And this goes off from the ending of his episode in Tekken 7, where Miguel has Jin defeated. But Miguel does not kill Jin because Jin wants to die. Jin tells Miguel, kill me. So Miguel doesn't kill him, but lets him know, I'm waiting for you, and once you find that will to live, I will kill you. And at the end of Tekken 8, it seems that Jin has found his will to live. So Miguel realises that Jin's finally found his will to live, which is his friends, keeps him going. Now that Jin has a will to live, I'm coming to kill you. I feel the character design for Tekken 8 would be Miguel looks roughed up. Maybe got a beard, looks like he's been through it because he has been through it. 
He's been fighting to save his family. But yeah, he should look really roughed up. And his fighting style will be the same. Obviously, he'll have some more stuff in heat or whatever. But keep the character relatively the same. Just aggressive and a heal, basically. Just give him a heal turn. But that is it for me. If you liked, drop a like. Sub if you haven't, because I'm going to do more of these. And get some more content going. I've been, been on it with the IRL content recently, traveling to offlines and stuff. If you know any Miguel mains, share this video to them. Let's get let's get them thinking as well. And if you have any ideas for how Miguel could come back or any other characters, drop a comment below. 